Hey guys, it's your girl Kim and I'm back with another video. So this video is going to be completely different from my usual videos that I do. So I am going to do a story time video and most of you might know what that is, some of you might not. So, oh shit, <laughs> this fell backwards. So a story time is basically something that you talk about, like an experience that you went through or, um, you know, whether it's like funny, scary, bad, personal, etc. Personally, I love watching story times. They're like one of my favorite videos on YouTube to watch just because they're, they're just so like interesting and Sometimes you can relate to those videos and those people who've been through certain things. Um, this story time is going to be a little different. It's going to be um, kind of like letting you guys know more about me and a little more personal into my life. I have Tourette's Syndrome. So Tourette's Syndrome is a disability that is basically um, like little tics that people do uncontrollably um, and it has to do with something like in your brain that is just not right and the best way I can explain it is as if you are a robot and the little things in your brain are like controlling what you do and how you do it and what you say without you having any control over it. I mean, I, don't, I shouldn't say any control because you can control it to a, to a certain extent but it also depends on your emotions and how how um, you are feeling at the moment. So that's kind of like a little bit about Tourette's. Not everyone has the same thing or does the same thing. Um, so people think automatically when you have Tourette's they just, you know, like cuss every single word or they scream hella loud or they're just doing all these weird things which is true but not for everyone how did I get Tourette's so how how did it come about for me <clears throat> the doctors say that it was something I was born with and I had to do obviously something with, with something in my brain it just didn't like function right I guess <clears throat> So it's something I was born with, but I didn't develop until a certain age. But I believe that something triggered my Tourette's to occur. Um, and I don't know if it just triggered it to occur sooner or if this certain trauma I went through, if it didn't happen, maybe I would have never had Tourette's. I don't know. I don't, I can't tell the future, I don't know. But I didn't have Tourette's my whole entire life um, until I was, I want to say, yeah, I was in third grade, so I was about eight years old, I think, eight or nine. Um, I think I was eight. Um, and um, <laughs> I was at school, school had just got out, and I was walking with my group, my group of friends, and we were walking out of the school to go um, to our parents and this girl in front of me had <clears throat> flipped off this boy that was walking behind me <laughs> and <laughs> the girl and the boy I both had class with. I was friends with the girl and the boy not so much. <clears throat> he was just a little like school bully kind of. Thing. Um, and when the girl flipped him off, 
he thought it was me. So he automatically ran up behind me and choked me. And um, he just choked me like for no reason. Well, he had a reason, but it wasn't like my fault. So he like ran up and choked me like this. Like he put his hands like this and like his thumbs and like pressed really hard and just choked the crap out of me. Like two weeks later, yeah, two weeks later, I had started doing these tits. So I was in the car with my mom and we were, she was driving. And out of nowhere, <laughs> I just started doing like this twitch and like these like little noises. Um, and my mom looked at me and she's like, what's wrong? Like, what are you doing? Like kind of like, she's like shocked, like, what what the heck are you doing? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I don't know, like, I, just, I think, I don't remember if I laughed or not, but I was like, I don't know, like, I don't know what I'm doing. And yeah, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what am I doing? Like, I don't know. And um, um, <laughs> my mom got like, you know, she was like, kind of rated out at first. And then she noticed I kept doing it and it was uncontrollable like uncontrollably and um, my mom had taken me to go see the doctor um, and they basically told us it was Tourette's syndrome and that it was something I was born with but, but I didn't I didn't develop it to a certain age which I believe but I just think this traumatic thing I went through triggered it how ironic is that? Like, I get choked, and then two weeks later, I have turrets. Like, it makes no sense. So, well, I mean, it makes sense because of the fact that, like, you know, I got that, like, two weeks later. Basically, there's different stages. And when I first got turrets, it was really bad. Really, really, really bad. Like, severe. So, <laughs> I basically would repeat anything I heard. So anything I heard people say, it would get stuck into my brain and I would just say it. Basically like a robot. So, oh, oh, oh. So it started out with, I want to say it started out with, you know, just loud noises and cursing. Yeah, I would. <laughs> I would literally, like, if I laugh, I'm so sorry. It's just because, like, it's not that it's funny. It's just, like, it's funny to remember the things I did because, I mean, like, it, like, I did them, so, and I had them, so it's funny, like, to me because, you know, I did them. So I can laugh at myself, though. Like, that's not a problem. Like, I don't care. I can't say this. I'm going to cry. Every time I know I'm going to cry, I start laughing. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so I basically would <laughs> blurt out every cuss word in the book. Like, every single cuss word. And I was eight, guys. I was eight. How did I even know, like, these cuss words? I don't know. How did I even... I didn't even know what they meant. I just said them because that's like those are things I heard and how did I hear these I don't know just people I don't know I think kids I went to school with too were like already like saying these words and like I don't know it was just really bad and, but I'm not gonna like say like you know the word specifically but I would say you know the b word I would say like the f bomb word I would say mother effort I would say and that's the one that like shocked my mom like my kids so I would get in so much trouble well not I wouldn't necessarily get like in trouble my parents knew that I couldn't help it but they would just you know let me know like Kim don't say that but like I couldn't help it like I couldn't <clears throat> and then they would like be curious like how do you even like know that like how do you know that word <clears throat> So, I would say mother effort, I would say 
you know, shit, I would say, like, I don't even want to say this one because this is so, like, embarrassing, but I would even say, like, the N-word. I don't even, like, I don't know, I don't know why, like, it just was, I just couldn't help it, and, um, <coughs> those are words, like, I heard all the time, too, and it's so sad, but, like, those I would just constantly hear it, so I would constantly say it. And not only would I say it, but I would yell it, I would blurt it out, I would, you know, just so, like, excessively, like, I just couldn't stop. And then on top of that, I would twitch. So, I would, like, jerk my arms and stuff, so, like, I would, like... I would also do like jerking movements and I would like take my arm and I would go up and down like that but like really hard and like super hard. My dad would get scared because he would like, he would get scared that I'm going to pull it out of the socket and I would also do that with my head too. Like I would do my head like this but really hard and um, I think that's also why now till this day. <laughs> I get really bad migraines, like really bad, um, like chronic migraines and I got them at kind of like a young age and I think it's because I would jerk my head really bad and so it would cause my head to hurt. <coughs> but yeah, so I would do those things for a few years, you know, uncontrollably all the time all the freaking time and you know my parents it was really hard on my parents at first my family because they had to like adjust to it <coughs> they had it had it was something they had to get used to and you know yeah my family was like supportive and you know they were here for me and they tried to make me feel better and stuff but <coughs> my whole life I was put in like like um, I had to go see a psychologist and a psychiatrist like every month because they wanted me to cope with it that way and I had to take medication for it so in order to see a psychiatrist I had to see a psychologist as well so I remember I would see my psychologist and I would have to sit there and just like talk about, you know, how I'm feeling, how the Tourette's are affecting me and other personal things as well. And then the medication, I hated it because they would subscribe, like subscribe me so like, or subscribe, they would, the hell, <laughs> they would prescribe me so many different medications that just did not work whatsoever <clears throat> and I hated it because I felt like I was always being like drugged or something or I don't know I just hated it and I was really young so I just hated taking it <clears throat> and it would make me depressed and like insecure because <clears throat> I remember, I remember one medication, it made me gain a lot of weight, and so I like dealt with like always being chunky growing up too, because of my medication, um, and um, I was always like the big girl or like the biggest like out of my friends, I would gain a lot of weight because of the medication and it would also make me drowsy and dizzy and just always lightheaded so it just didn't work out and if that one didn't work out they would prescribe me another one and that would do the same thing and it just it just sucked and then finally we found one that worked and it was called um, Abilify and what it is it's actually antidepressant so how that works is it helps my Tourette's because it helps the emotions and everything that triggers the Tourette's so therefore Tourette's is caused by stress is caused by um, when you get ex if you get too excited 
or if you're really concentrated on something um, it can be triggered by sadness anger like all these different types of emotions um, but it really gets bad when I'm stressed <laughs> so if I have a lot going on and I, I don't know how to like take it <laughs> sometimes I don't even know that I'm stressed like now, like right now, it's not right now. <laughs> like there is something really stressing me out, but I can't pinpoint what it is. And my Tourette's have been really bad. And so like they've just been like a little more extra. Like I just do it more often. <clears throat> and also, I think it also has to do with like season change as well. And all of that. Oh, my back's <laughs> Yeah, like season change. Um, just different things can just trigger it. <clears throat> My parents were supportive or they were trying to learn how to be without being judgmental. But I know that it got hard on them because they weren't used to it and they didn't know how to deal with it or cope with it sometimes. And I know that it would bother them and I could see that even if they tried to hide it, I could see that it bothered them. So... I would isolate myself in my room a lot because I didn't want to bother them because I, I could see like especially like with my dad it took like the biggest toll because he just didn't know what to do and so like if they were watching TV or something and it bothered them they would just tell me like They would tell me like, you know, like be quiet or to just calm down or like control it. They would tell me things that they obviously knew I couldn't do. And it would frustrate me and it would make my charts worse because I would literally try to, you know, control it when I couldn't. <laughs> and then I would start putting things in my head like, well, why do I even have this? Like I would start blaming myself because I felt like I was just being annoying all the time and I was making my parents angry and I felt like they stopped loving me I felt like I was just always a bot like I was just bothering everyone because you know like they didn't know how to take it that I would even like get yelled at like when I was younger my dad would literally like scream at me because he didn't know how to like you know he didn't know how to deal with it so he would just tell me, like yell at me to be quiet <coughs> which you know like isn't good but you know like what else are you gonna do <coughs> so it would you know it would just get really bad that they just couldn't take it and so the next stage was oh <clears throat> I would stop I think I cussed for a long time and then in middle school uh, <clears throat> I said this one word all the time I would always like yell out the word hate and I don't know why but I just would yell it all the time the group of friends I hung out with that was like their nickname for me and like they would call me they were like hey hey or whatever what's up hate or I love you hate or whatever because I would always say it and <laughs> now like I know like that was kind of like kind of probably like rude <laughs> like to be honest now that I see it like I don't know I didn't see it then but it was actually kind of messed up <laughs> and a lot of times like the people I hung out with too like, just make fun of me and I really wouldn't like, I really wouldn't know this, like I was blind to it <clears throat> until I got older and I realized they're really making fun of me, like I'm literally a joke to them, like I'm a joke. I'm not even like, like they're not my true friends because they talk mess about me all the time and we would always get in the fights and every time we would get in the fights they would just say like things like oh. I just used you or I just felt sorry for you so I was your friend because I felt bad but 
I really don't like you and you ain't you ain't anything to me <clears throat> you're just retarded you're stupid and all these things they would say that to me and then I would forgive them they would come back to me like I'm so sorry I didn't mean that and I would forgive them because I was clueless and blind and and I would do that all the time, continuously forgive them, forgive them, forgive them, even though they always took, talk like the biggest load of crap around me. Oh. So, because I wanted friends, I wanted friends so bad and I wanted to feel like I was accepted. And now I'm just like, I don't care if I have friends, like I really don't, like I don't care. As I got older, the better the Tourette's got. So I would kind of like grow out of a stage and then move on to something different. And then sometimes I would kind of like go back and do what I used to do for a period of time and then it would go away again. <laughs> and then it would get better. <laughs> so as I got older, it got better. And... I remember one time, before it got better, it got worse. I used to scream at the top of my lungs. Like, I could not control it. I would literally be in my room at night, and I would scream at the top of my lungs. Like, I was letting it out. Like, I was trying to hold it in all day, and I was just letting it out. Because there was times I would try to hold it in as much as I could, just so I can go a day without me getting made fun of just so I can go a day without hearing hearing anyone complain or having to hear my parents complain or anything and you would think your family would be the number one supporter for you and be the one to comfort you and tell you it's okay and not to judge you but honestly I think my family was like my my worst was like worse than like the kids at school and it's so sad because like I don't even want to say this because I don't want to bust them out but um, I would go to school and I would have a crappy day and I would come home and be worse like I didn't get to go home and feel better I would get go home to feel like crap again and to feel worse and feel like I wasn't accepted and I would be continuous, continuously told that, you know, just to be quiet or to shut up or to go to my room or can't you just quiet down for once? Can't you just hold it in, like do something? And like, it would be so like, heartbreaking for me because all I wanted to do was just go home and go to my mom and cry and have her tell me it's gonna be okay when that's not what I got <laughs> so I mean don't get me wrong like my parents my mom would comfort me at times but if it had to do with anything like <laughs> during something she was doing or like a show she was watching and it bothered her, like, my mom would literally take the remote and pause the TV every time I made a noise until I stopped. And if I, once I stopped, she would turn it back on. And then once I did it again, she would instantly stop it and look at me and give me this look like, are you done yet? Kind of thing. And I'm not... <laughs> talking uh, bad about my parents and whatsoever I love my parents and at the end of the day it is what it is and you know they've helped me get through a lot in life no one's perfect but and I'm not bashing my parents by saying this but I'm just telling you what it is and the reality and what I've gone through and everything that's affected me so don't don't take it as if I'm bashing my parents because I'm not. And then I would also get like from my brother because me and my brother, we never had a good relationship to start with. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> and my brother would always tell me like, 
you're retarded, you're stupid, you're not my sister, you're just like all these horrible things like just always put me down. Constantly call me names and all this stuff so I would like come home from school and I would go straight to my room and I would just mind my own business and I would lock myself in my room. <laughs> Well, I didn't have a lock on my door, but I would take a knife, um, and I would take a knife and I would put it under my my uh, door handle and I'd shove it into the wall, and that's how I locked my door <laughs> because I wasn't allowed to have a lock. Um, I feel like I had people who supported me and and told me it's gonna be okay and that they heard from me, um, and then I had those people who. You know, obviously weren't. And I learned a lot from who I could trust. And the end, end of the day, all you have is yourself. And you can't invest your time in the people that aren't going to invest their time in you. I don't, I don't know. But everything I went through made me so incredibly strong. You know, people who if they were in my shoes they probably you know wouldn't be able to take it and there's probably people who can take it like everyone goes through their own thing everyone has their own issues has their own problems everyone's different um, um, but it's made me a stronger person at the end of the day and made me who I am today you know, I used to get like suicidal thoughts and I would get I would get really like depressed and sad because I, I would feel like why am I here? <coughs> and I would blame God because <laughs> I would be like why what's my purpose here? Like why'd you bring me on this earth to go through this? Like, why do I have to go through this? Why me? Why why out of everyone in the whole entire world, out of everyone in my family, it had to be me? Um, um, <coughs> why did I have to be the different one or the retarded one or whatever um, um, <coughs> that I would get suicidal thoughts and be like, I don't want to be here no more. Like, I don't... If I have to live another day with someone calling me retarded or someone calling me names or telling me I'm stupid and I'm dumb and I'm disgusting and all these horrible things, like, I didn't want to do it. And I remember one day, like, I literally tried to take my life away. But I remembered before I did it, I, I heard, like, I literally heard God, like, in and just tell me like like literally just tell me like you have a purpose and you have a purpose here that's why you have this so I know that my story is going to reach out to someone and it's going to help someone who might have the same thing as me or might go be going through something different and it's going to be like a testimony for people later on in life we go through things we go through pain to have a story to to we to be able to connect with other people and save other people that's the whole point of going through pain god doesn't give us that pain but he lets us go through that pain so we can relate <coughs> and you know the devil can try to take you down and tear you down and make you feel like crap all he wants but as long as you persevere and be strong and don't let that little voice in your head tell you you're nothing then you'll make it in life so that's what I always reminded myself was that you know I'm not going to take my life away and be selfish not only to God or to myself and to everyone else I'm going to live my life become a better person, be strong, suck it up, and live my life because it doesn't control me. Tourette's doesn't control me. It makes me who I am. And honestly, I can't even see my life without having Tourette's because if I didn't have this, 
I don't know I don't know who I would be. I don't know where I would be. I don't I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't know anything without it. It's made me the strong I probably wouldn't even be as strong as I am today. <laughs> I I used to let people walk all over me so bad. Like I would let people walk all over me all the time. <laughs> now I'm just like <laughs> Like I don't really like I'm, it's not as bad. I literally grew a pair of balls and just <laughs> became one of the toughest and strongest people. And I literally put a wall over my heart and it's just like I'm not gonna let anyone walk over me. I'm not gonna let anyone tell me who I am. I'm not gonna let anyone control me. <laughs> like that's it. <laughs> So as I got older, I became very distant and I became wiser on who I was around. I also got really shy, I feel like, as I got older because I was scared to open up to people. I was scared to, like, talk to people. I would get nervous, like, because, you know... I was ashamed of who I was too. I was ashamed of of having Tourette's. Like I was ashamed of it <laughs> because everyone would think, you know, oh, you're weird. You're like, and then they would just make fun of me. <laughs> Going back to the stages <clears throat> after the whole screaming thing, <clears throat> it got so much better, and I started just doing like little noises, <clears throat> and they kind of just sound like. <laughs> Caught like I'm coughing, but I'm not coughing. Oh, it's just a little noise. And um, in high school, it wasn't, I don't want to say it was as bad, but it was still kind of bad. And I think the people that like mainly like who would make fun of me the most were like guys. Well, in high school, like it was the guys that were the most like cruel to me, like literally the most, the most like cruel. So, I remember, oh, no, okay, I remember my history class, it was my senior year, I want to say, and I was doing my tarots or whatever, and this, these kids, they were like Mexican or whatever, and they were just like, these group of boys who were like class clowns or whatever, and would like, just be hella obnoxious and rude and just annoying <coughs> and thought they were the shiznit or whatever and one time they mocked me they literally mocked me in class in front of everyone and it was so embarrassing and my friend claudia and mom oh, she um she what'd she say she stood up for me and she was just like she was like um basically like you know that's messed up like who are you to mock her? You know, I wouldn't be surprised if your kid came out having, you know, turrets or whatever for you doing that. And just saying something, you know, just to irritate him. Um, and then, um, my, I got in trouble. I got in trouble because I, my teacher, I don't know, she was just, my teacher was really rude and I could not stand her. I did not like her and I felt like she had it out for me. No, um, and she kept me out of class, and I got in trouble. And she's like, I was being disruptive to her class, and that I need to control my Tourette's. And I looked at her, and I was like, Excuse you? Like, I literally looked at her, and I was like, What do you mean? Like, how was I being disruptive? when it was those group of guys who mocked me it's like because you're the one who has the turrets so therefore it's your fault because you couldn't control it i'm like um exactly i can't control it so therefore it's not my fault and it's like they were the problem so who are you you know i was so mad and <laughs> i i was i was literally like piss like I tried to get her fired I, tried, I literally was so mad like I was pissed and um yeah so I had to walk 
I had to like walk out of that classroom because I was gonna go off on her. I wanted to slap her, but <laughs> I couldn't, you know? <laughs> I can't slap a teacher, I would've got expelled. But, which is weird, because if I would've slapped her, I would've got expelled. But since the fact that she had got disrespected me, she didn't even get fired. Like, what kind of sh crap is that? But anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, I would just deal with, <laughs> I just dealt with so much, like so much crap, and this isn't even everything I've dealt with. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> what is that? Why did I do that? I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Babe. You sounded like a horse. <laughs> I did. <laughs> sorry, what's. Here you go. <laughs> okay, so you have to edit that out. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. So Ooh. I. Shh. So that's not everything I went through, but you know, there's kind of just like a brief, you know, little story of everything I went through and what I have and how I dealt with it. And I didn't get into detail of everything because I almost cried. Well, I did kind of cry, and I don't want to keep crying, so. But yeah, so, that's my story, and I hope you guys, you know, enjoy this video. And I've, like, got something out of, this, uh, out of this video, and now you know more about me, and you know who I am, and now I don't have to be as scared or nervous to, I guess, kind of, like, do my turrets in my videos even though i'm still gonna edit it out just because it makes a smoother video not because i'm embarrassed of it just because it's just smoother um, but um, <coughs> <coughs> but i just really wanted you guys to know because if you're going to watch my videos you might as well know who i am and at the end of the at the end of the day turrets doesn't define me it's not who it's not who I am like Tourette's doesn't own me but it's a part of me so that's something I feel like you guys deserve to know if you guys have like any questions like about it more and want to know certain things and if there's anything I left out you know just let me know in the comment box below and I'll try to answer your guys questions and whatnot but I hope this like was helpful and yeah, um, if you want more story time videos like this, just let me know in the comment box below as well, and I'll do them. I have tons and tons of stories. A lot of, excuse me, a lot of them were, a lot of them are very personal, but I don't really mind sharing the personal stuff, I guess, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, you guys got some clarity and clarification through it and it someone's watching this and you have Tourette's as well I totally you know understand or if you know someone who does maybe this helps you to understand better um, about what we go through and how we handle it um, <laughs> this took a lot of strength for me to even post Sorry if I was ramble, rambling a lot. I just was trying to find the right the right words to say and how to say it. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. And um, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>